Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 1.5 solving cubic and quartic equations. 1.5 represents chapter 1, section 5 of the Corpio 1 textbook. Let's have a look at the key facts of this section. Consider a polynomial f of z with real coefficients. The roots of f of z equal to 0 are z1 and z2. z2 is equal to z1 star. z1 star is the complex conjugate of z1. Consider az to the power 3 plus bz to the power 2 plus cz plus d equal to 0, where a, b, c and d are constants and a is not equal to 0. Then there are two possibilities. Number 1, all three roots are real. Or number 2, one root is real and the other two roots form a complex conjugate pair. Consider az to the power 4 plus bz to the power 3 plus cz to the power 2 plus dz plus e equal to 0, where a, b, c, d and e are constants and a is not equal to 0. Now there are three possibilities. Number 1, all four roots are real. Or number 2, two roots are real and the other two roots form a complex conjugate pair. Or number 3, two roots form a complex conjugate pair and the other two roots also form a complex conjugate pair. These are the key facts of 1.5 solving cubic and quartic equations. I'll be implementing these key facts within exam style questions. Let's have a look at the first exam style question. f of z is equal z cubed minus 6z squared plus 21z minus 26. Part A show that f of 2 is equal to 0. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. So in part A, we need to work out f of 2, replace the z's with 2, so we've got 2 cubed minus 6 multiplied by 2 squared, plus 21 multiplied by 2, minus 26. If I put this into my calculator, I get a 0. Hence, I can conclude that f of 2 is equal to 0. Let's move on to part B. So in part B, it says, hence, solve f of z equal to 0. So we need to refer back to our answer in part A. Since we know that f of 2 is equal to 0, this implies that z equal 2 is a root of the function okay this in turn implies that z minus 2 equal to 0 gives us a factor of the function so we have that z minus 2 is a factor of f of z using the factor theorem this is covered um, in pure 1 chapter 7 algebraic methods so you might want to go back to my playlist on pure 1 chapter 7 algebraic methods Okay, so here is the factor theorem. az minus b is a factor of f of z if f of b over a is equal to 0. How did we get b over a? Well, you set az minus b equal to 0 and you make z the subject, you get b over a. So that is the factor theorem. So we know that z minus 2 is a factor of the function f of z. Now we're going to use polynomial division to work out the other factor. Okay, so we use polynomial division. I've got z cubed inside minus 6z squared plus 21z minus 26 and on the outside I've got my linear factor z minus 2. So I need to carry out polynomial division. Now if you want to know how to do polynomial division go to my playlist pure 1 chapter 7 algebraic methods. Okay let's carry out the polynomial division. I've got z cubed divided by z which is z squared. I take z squared and I expand it with the z minus 2 this gives me z cubed minus 2z squared. Now we need to subtract these two polynomials. z cubed minus z cubed is 0. Minus 6z squared minus minus 2z squared is minus 6z squared plus 2z squared, which is minus 4z squared. I can bring down these two additional terms. Plus 21z minus 26. Now I take minus 4z squared and I divide by z. This gives me minus 4z. Take minus 4z and expand it with the z minus 2. You would get minus 4z squared plus 8z. Subtract these two polynomials. So minus 4z squared minus minus 4z squared is 0. Then I've got 21z minus plus 8z. So 21z minus 8z which is equal to 13z. I can bring down this additional term minus 26. So now I take 13z and I divide by z. 13z divided by z is plus 13. Take plus 13 and expand it with the z minus 2. This gives me 13z minus 26. Subtract these two polynomials and you end up with 0. Hence, now we're going to solve f of z equals 0. The factorization of f of z uh, consists of two brackets. The first bracket is the linear factor z minus 2. 
and the second bracket is the quadratic factor z squared minus 4z plus 13. We set this equal to 0. So now I can set both brackets equal to 0. I've got z minus 2 equals 0. This gives me z equal 2. Okay, that is the first root. Now we set this quadratic factor equal to 0. So z squared minus 4z plus 13 equals 0. I'm going to solve this by completing the square. So I've got z minus 2 in bracket squared minus 4 plus 13 equals 0. This in turn gives me z minus 2 in bracket squared plus 9 equal to 0. So z minus 2 in bracket squared is equal to minus 9. So z minus 2 is equal to plus or minus square root minus 9. Plus or minus, if I simplify this, I get 3i. So z is equal to 2 plus or minus 3i. Hence, there are three roots, z equal 2, one real root, and two complex roots, z equal 2 plus 3i, z equal 2 minus 3i. That there, ladies and gents, completes the exam style question. Let's have a look at another exam style question. f of z equal to z to the power 4 minus 12z to the power 3 plus 31z to the power 2 plus 108z minus 360. Part A, write f of z in the form z squared minus 9 in bracket multiplied by z squared plus bz plus c in bracket, where b and c are real constants to be found. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. So notice that f of z in factorized form consists of this bracket and this bracket. So that first bracket z squared minus 9 is a factor of f of z. So I can write down z squared minus 9 is a factor of f of z. To find this factor over here I need to do polynomial division. So I've got my division sign. In goes the quartic z to the power 4 minus 12z cubed plus 31z squared plus 108z minus 360. And now goes the z squared minus 9. Now the z squared minus 9 is an injured polynomial. I'm going to repair it by introducing a z term. So I've got z squared plus 0z minus 9. Okay, so now I'm going to carry out the polynomial division. z to the power 4 divided by z squared is just z squared. z squared multiplied by this polynomial will give me z to the power 4 plus 0z cubed minus 9z squared. So now I need to subtract these two polynomials. z to the power 4 minus z to the power 4 is just 0. Then I've got minus 12z cubed minus plus 0z cubed, which is just minus 12z cubed. 31z squared minus minus 9z squared is plus 40z squared. I can bring down these two additional terms. So I've got plus 108z minus 360. Now I need to repeat the process. Minus 12z cubed divided by z squared is minus 12z. So now I take the minus 12z and I expand it with this quadratic here. This gives me minus 12z cubed um, plus 0z squared and then plus 108z. Okay, so now I subtract these two polynomials. Um, these two terms, when you subtract them, you get 0. And then over here, you would get um, 40 z squared. Uh, when you do 108z minus plus 108z, you just get 0z. And you can bring down this additional term, minus 360. Okay, so now you do 40z squared divide by z squared. That's plus 40. Take the 40 and expand it with a quadratic. You get 40z squared plus 0z minus 360. Subtract these two polynomials, and if you do that, you get 0. Okay, so we have that. f of z can be factorized into two brackets. The first bracket is z squared minus 9. And the second bracket is this quadratic factor here. z squared minus 12z plus 40. So if I compare this quadratic with the quadratic here, I can see that the b is equal to minus 12 and the c is equal to 40. This completes part A of the exam style question. 
Moving on to part B. Hence, find all the solutions to f of z equal to 0. Okay, so in part B, we're going to take our factorized form of f of z and set it equal to 0. So z squared minus 9, z squared minus 12z plus 40 equal to 0. Set the first bracket equal to 0. So z squared minus 9 equals 0, z squared equal 9, z is equal plus or minus 3. Okay, now set the second bracket equal 0. So z squared minus 12z plus 40 equals 0. I'm going to solve this by completing the square. I've got z minus 6 in bracket squared minus 36 plus 40 equals 0. So z minus 6 in bracket squared plus 4 is equal to 0. And then we can take the 4 to the right hand side. z minus 6 in bracket squared is equal minus 4. z minus 6 is equal to plus or minus square root minus 4. So this simplifies to z minus 6 equal plus or minus 2i. Hence z is equal 6 plus or minus 2i. There are four roots. There are two real roots, z equal 3, z equal minus 3, and there are two complex roots z equals 6 plus 2i and z equals 6 minus 2i. This completes the exam style question. Moving on to the final exam style question of this teaching video. g of z is equal to z to the power 3 minus 12z to the power 2 plus cz plus d where c and d are elements of the real number set. Given that 6 and 3 plus i are roots of the equation g of z equal to 0, part a, write down the other complex root of the equation. Let's go back to the key fact over here. So consider a cubic equation. Have a look at scenario number two. One root is real and the other two roots form a complex conjugate pair. So in the question we have one real root z equals 6 then we have a complex root z equals 3 plus i. Hence the third root has to be the complex conjugate of 3 plus i. So in part a the answer will be z equals 3 minus i. Moving on to part b. Find the value of c and the value of d. So we can now factorize g of z. We know that there's one real root, z equals 6, and there are two complex roots, z equals 3 plus i and z equals 3 minus i. So the factorization of g of z will be z minus 6, that's the first bracket, then we have z minus 3 plus i, second bracket, and then we have z minus 3 minus i, third bracket. I'm going to be expanding these two brackets with the complex roots in them. So I've got z minus 3 plus i multiplied by z minus 3 minus i. Okay, so z times z is z squared. Then we've got z multiplied by negative 1 lots of 3 minus i. That becomes minus z lots of 3 minus i. Negative 1 lots of 3 plus i multiplied by z is negative z lots of 3 plus i. And then negative 1 lots of 3 plus i multiplied by negative 1 lots of 3 minus i becomes plus 3 plus i multiplied by 3 minus i. So I've got z squared, expand the bracket, minus 3z plus zi, expand the bracket over here as well, minus 3z minus zi. Plus, over here we've got a difference of two squares, we can quickly expand this into 3 in bracket squared minus i in bracket squared. Okay, the zi and the minus zi cancel out, so I've got z squared minus 3z minus 3z is minus 6z, and then plus 9 minus i squared. Now i squared is negative 1, so minus 1. This simplifies into z squared minus 6z plus 10. Okay, so now I can go back and I can write g of z is equal z minus 6 and if you expand these two brackets we get z squared minus 6z plus 10 so the second bracket is simply z squared minus 6z plus 10. We are now going to expand this to create a cubic okay so z times z squared is z cubed and then we've got minus 6z squared plus 10z followed by minus 6z squared plus 36z and then minus 60. Okay, so now I need to simplify this. I've got z cubed minus 6z squared minus 6z squared is minus 12z squared 
and we do precisely have minus 12 z squared here so it's looking good so far then we've got 10 z uh, plus 36 z which is plus 46 z minus 60. now we're going to compare the coefficient of the z term so over here the z term has coefficient of 46 over here the z term has coefficient c so we can see that c has to be 46. let's compare the constant term so the d has to be minus 60. and that there ladies and gents completes the exam style question and this teaching video 1.5 solving cubic and quartic equations if you found the teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.